Okay, we have a quantitative comparison problem here where we have R, S, and T. They are three consecutive odd integers such that R is the smallest, S is the middle, and here's T. We have column A, we have column B. R plus S plus 1 in column A, and then column B, S plus T minus 1. Now, here's the interesting part. Well, if you have something in one column, you can drop it from both. Here's S and S, boom, gone. Now we can just compare R plus 1 and T minus 1. That's the great thing with quantitative comparison. You can eliminate an element if it's the same in each row. So let's just say I have plus 99. There's plus 99 here randomly. We just kill both of them. But good news is we didn't have 99 to begin with. We only had S, and it's gone. So now we're just comparing R plus 1 and T minus 1. So you have a couple of options. One is just the plug in numbers. You can say R is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. If R is 3, these are consecutive odd integers. T is 7. 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. B is greater. That's good. Can we disprove that? Well, if we plugged in 5 for R, then notice H number is moving up. 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. T in this case is 9. 9 minus 1 is 8. Interesting. It's still too bigger. Why is that? Well, whatever we plug in for R, S is all, or T is always going to be 4 greater. So even if I plug in 11 for R, T is going to be 15. It's always 4 greater than R. Therefore, when we have R has this plus 1 on this side, it's kind of catching up to T. It's only 3 less now. And then T diminishes by 1, so T goes down, and it's now 2 away from R. But it never, they never quite intersect. That is, this column will always be bigger.